Hello everyone, this is Shock44, and I'm bringing you the latest in Sonic Boom news, because I just needed to rip that off. Um, but let me tell you right now, um, I just kind of came upon some new news of Sonic Boom characters and new Sonic Boom characters. I've been curious about this because I, I know I saw this turtle, this old turtle guy in that, um, behind the up on the wall, they're like, oh look, it's up on the wall, and uh, you guys can look at it, but you don't know what it is. And then now we're going to be told exactly who all these new characters are, and what game or thing they're going to be in. Apparently, some of them aren't going to be in the uh, TV show, only in the game, which, or in like, certain games, like, there's one, there's one th one's 3DS, one's Wii U, it's, it's like, what? You know about Sonic, Tails, Amy, Knuckles, and Sticks, but now it's time to meet some of the other characters you'll encounter in Sonic Boom, in Sonic Boom Universe. They, these characters are not a playable in the Sonic Boom games, and some of them also appear in the Sonic Boom TV animation. So some of them don't even appear in the Sonic TV animation. Wow. Okay, so we got Old Tucker, which is a tortoise, or a turtle. No, I guess it's a tortoise. Tortoises look like that. Old Tucker is a happy-go-lucky farmer who mistakenly took the easy route to grow his villagers' crops. Despite some setbacks, he is still able to spread his funny southern charm with villagers. Old Tucker is in Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. Okay, so... I'm just gonna give my impressions on each character as I read them off. Okay, so we... This guy... He seems alright. Seems like an alright character. He doesn't really look like a Sonic character, but it doesn't really... It's not really bothering me. I mean, he looks like he could fit still. He looks like he could, he could fit. Most of these characters, to me, look like they could actually fit in Sonic's world. They'd just be a little bit differently styled, just slightly. One of them, though, or two of the characters, though, I'm just like, why are they even here? But we'll get to those. So this character's alright. Um, this apparently is a hedgehog that's got not very many spines. He got, um, I think he got a haircut? Uh, I don't know. It's like a hedgehog that got a haircut, or if he is some other kind of... He's a hedgehog. I can't see him being any other kind of animal. Hayward, the hopeless farmer hand, is a dreamer who constantly wants to go above and beyond to prove himself to others about around him. Always looking to be a part of something bigger, something that makes a difference. He is in, a, in search for a reason or way to help to show, to show what he can do. Sorry, just doubling over my words here. Hayward is in Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. Well, he seems like a confident, you know, dreamer type fellow, so that's good. Um, you know, I like characters like these. You know, stories need characters like these, like to kind of just like they're trying. They want to be part of the main heroes, but they're not gonna. They're probably not gonna be in, unless they like prove themselves like really well. You know, so I can see that character working out pretty well. Um, he doesn't look. He actually looks like a Sonic character. Just a little bit different, um, like different proportions. Like he looks like a little slimmer, a uh, lot bigger body shape, kind of tall. Well, I think probably Sonic is probably as tall as that. I don't know. Salty is the self-proclaimed captain of the ocean. He is overly confident in his domain and does not care to take the opinions of others around him into consideration. His egocentric attitude is apparent even though his words and actions are not always just justified in salty's world it's his way or the sea way salty is in the sonic boom animation and sonic boom rise of lyric all right that seems like a interesting character you gotta have one of those egocentric characters for some for some stories and it's good that he's in Sonic Boom animation because I do like his design. And I want to see it more because he reminds me of Rotor from Sonic Set AM and and Archie Comics. Uh, but he's probably nothing like Rotor because he's a he's a sailor and he um, is egocentric, which Rotor was not any, any of those things. So <laughs> it just reminds me of him because he's like bluish and he has like his mouth is another is like similar. So it looks like a good character. It kind, it kind, he actually, he could, he could fit in Sonic's world, uh, like a regular Sonic game. I could see that. I could see him fitting in Sonic's, Sonic games. Okay, so another character 
uh, the, that's Bob, that's like his brother of the other one is Pepper. That's another sailor, and he was raised by his father to sail the open seas, but has never respect has never respected his brother. When left a nautical compass by their father, um, Salty took it for himself, and they and they haven't spoken since. Now Pepper captains his own ship with a keen understanding about the ways of the sea, a poetic sensibility, and a occasional battle with Salty on the open waters. Pepper is in the op- in Sonic Boom animation and Sonic Boom ri- Rise of Lyric. It's kind of interesting. He's red and he's blue, and like the red guy is the nice guy probably, and the blue guy is like the mean guy. I guess I don't know. Because he's egocentric. I mean, he probably not isn't that mean to people, but he's like, you know, my way or the sea way, you know. Sorry if I'm moving the, I'm the, moving the camera. It's kind of on a weird spot right now. QNC, pronounced Quincy, is the main guide through both the Wii U and 3DS versions of Sonic Boom. Created by the evil mastermind Lyric, QNC is an ancient robot whose wires were crossed and can now think for, himse- for itself. Shedding its evil past, QNC aims to please and help people whenever possible. QNC is in Sonic Boom, Rise of Lyric, and Sonic Boom, Shadow, Shadow Crystal. No, that's cool. I-, I really like this robot's design. When I saw him in the uh, uh, preview cutscene, I thought he was cool. So, I think he'll work. He kind of reminds me of that, that robot from Team and T. Uh, I forget his name, um, but uh, he was that robot who uh, was like on that alien planet that the Ninja Turtles went to and they encountered him and he's like, we must stop the Triceratons or whatever. Anyway, um, okay, here comes the characters. I'm just like, why are they even here? Where did they come from? Who dreamed these characters up? Are they from another, another dimension? Are they just water? Are they just... Are they just sea creatures that somehow came to life? Hokey and Pokey have been married for over 175 years and have an everlasting spark between them. Until that spark is lit and the bickering begins. Always poking fun at each other and arguing over who knows best. This elderly couple proves there is a soulmate for everyone. Pokey and Pokey are in Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. Now, I can see this being a funny concept and maybe working, but the designs of these characters uh, in the Sonic game just kind of... I can see... I mean, I'm going to be okay with this because I'm open to almost anything, but as far as everyone else on the internet, I'm sure they're going to be looking at this and be like, What the crap? We don't need characters like that. Characters like these are bad. Those aren't Sonic characters. Those things belong in like a Don Bluth film or something. <laughs> they look, they look like they're from a Don Bluth film. In fact, some of these critters, some of these characters, look, remind me of Don Bluth films in a way. That's not really a bad thing, but it's just interesting that they remind me of Don Bluth films, you know. Percy is beautiful, yet tough as nails. Her street smarts and tough exterior allow her to be ready to protect the town when the time comes. Percy is in the Sonic Boom animation and Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. Of course he's in the Sonic Boom Rise of um, animation, I'm, I'm sure. Because you want it says, look at her, it's another hedgehog. And she looks almost just like Amy, except different. It's like Amy's sister or something. I bet Amy and her are going to be like rivals. I bet you. It just seems like it's gonna happen. And she seems like- I, I like this character. She, she seems cool. You know? And, uh, you know, I am- this makes me more excited for this game because I thought I was just gonna have, like, some meh story, but maybe with these characters it'll liven it up and make it more interesting. I don't know. I don't know. I'm still cautiously excited. Cautiously, cautiously, I'm, I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic. That's what I'm trying to say. Foreman Fred is in way over his head and knows it. 
promoted too early and probably without merit. He knows the rules and regulations but just doesn't know how to apply them. The fact that he's not the quickest on his feet only makes only makes matters worse. Foreman Fred is in Sonic Rise of Lyric. So he looks kind of like Goofy, but he's not. And I, I'm guessing he is one of those guys who tries his best to work hard, but he kind of like isn't quite that good at his work. We'll, we'll see. He's, he looks alright. I kind of I like that character. Next character, Doc Ginger's strong southern charm and kindness should never be mistaken for weakness. Even during the most frantic of situations, she calms. She remains calm, level-headed, and unafraid of, and to provide the team with sweet, with sweet but stern direction. Doc, Doc Ginger is in Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. Cool, cool. She looks all right. Cliff is the wise and well-educated elder statesman of the village, who knows the history of Lyric and his metal army. Respected and trusted, he's been searching for something for a very long time and will fill it any way he f he's fit. <coughs> Cliff is in Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. Now, I'm gonna guess that when you encounter this guy in the game, you're gonna be, he's gonna tell you, like, You better watch out for Lyric, because he's got this stuff that he does, and he uses robots, and, you know, he's gonna talk like that. Or talk like this. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Probably gonna be different. I'm probably way off, but you know what I mean. Seems like the guy you want to go to if you want to know information about Lyric, of course. So that's cool. So next character, the French master chef, has prepared nearly every dish in the world and seen every kitchen. A true perfectionist of his craft, Chef Woody wants no person or thing to come between him and the perfect dish. Graceful and eloquent by nature, hot blood in the name of cuisine. Chef Chef Woody is in Sonic Boom as a lyric. This character is kind of a looks seems like it's kind of a you know stereotypical like I'm gonna make the best dish. Eh, my cuisine is best. Oh yeah, and he's like probably like comedic and you know comes in for comedic relief. But he seems alright. I like I like alright. I'm right. Fastest, fastidious, fastidious, fastidious beaver is a fussy, uptight beaver with a knack of for being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Fastidious beaver is in Sonic Boom animation. And Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. Seems like a very minor character. They just want to like stick in there, maybe maybe every now and then, just to have some kind of, kind of funny quirk with them. Like, oh, I'm in the wrong place. Ah, uh. I don't know. They'll come up with some kind of joke that has to do with him complaining or something, probably. But he's alright. Um, Mayor Fink is a typical politician, a fast talker out of both sides of his mouth. Loud and confident, he feels in control no matter what the situation, even if he has no idea what he's doing. Mayor Fink is in Sonic Boom animation and Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. Sonic. Okay, I'm gonna read that. Read that at last. Um, but this character seems alright. This looks like Mouse Guy. He seems alright. I like him. He, he does look a lot like a Don Bluth type character film. Er, <laughs> he does look a lot like a character you'd see in a Don Bluth film, though. But that's not a bad thing. And you know, these characters seem like they're really that bad for a Sonic game, except for maybe those weird. Sea creatures that are elderly, but other than that, it's not really a big deal to me that they're in there. And um, you know, I'm I'm st still kind of excited for this game because it's just so different and weird, and, and it's just so mysterious. You want to know, you want to know what's the story about, and I hope it's not just some generic thing, the generic thing like Sonic Lost World, where it's like. Um, you were so, um, like, excited for Sonic Lost World, you're like, Who are the Deadly Six? Where are they came? Where'd they come from? What do they do? And then you, like, you, f you watch the game, you play the game, and then it doesn't tell you anything about the Deadly Six. The Deadly Six are, like, nothing. They're just, like, characters. They're just so generic. They're just like, We're evil, and we're here. 
to hear the rest of this part of my video with me talking about Sonic Boom and Sonic Colors and Sonic Generations and Sonic Unleashed, uh, please go to part two that I'm going to upload very soon and stay tuned for it. Thank you and thank you for watching.